Bill and Candace, members of this church, tell me it's all about giving back during this Thanksgiving season. They plan on giving out a hot meal along with free clothes to those who might not have much at all. At Christian Tabernacle Church in Petersburg, the sound checks are complete for their first Thanksgiving Day service in the city. This is what CT does. But the basement is where the real preparation takes place as the church will feed and clothe the homeless this Thanksgiving. We're trying to let them know we see them because so many people don't see them. Kindness Minister Debbie Powell says she got from her mother growing up. Before we would sit down to Thanksgiving dinner, we would take a plate to, to neighbors which her mother started, and so it just falls into home training. What you do today? Nothing, just watch TV. Compassion that Bishop Kenneth Hicks says was also abundant in his household. Yeah. Retired from the military, the veteran led two churches in Missouri, hosting more than 17 Thanksgiving dinners for those in need uh -huh. before coming to Virginia last year. We're living in, 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 in terrible times, and... If the church doesn't make a statement in the community, something is wrong. While in Missouri, we even had a house full of soldiers uh, from Fort Learwood. And it's a tradition they hope to keep alive oh, okay. for years to come. Lord, first to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They put Thanksgiving on the calendar as a national observance, but Thanksgiving is every day. Now that service will be at Christian Tabernacle Church in Petersburg starting tomorrow at 10 a.m. followed by their Thanksgiving meal which will run until 4 p.m. Working for you tonight, I'm Matthew Foltz, CBS 6 News. Matthew.